This is Gale Razorwind. I'm going to be narrating because a few of these things just got a little bit too small. And this is Newton. This is what it would look like when you've got a pretty much full track made. This is the 3D preview window. It shows what your element will look like. And in this particular case, you're looking at Monarch the Ride. This is the track section bar. It shows you how many sections you have and it is used to select sections to edit. Pressing the add new section button adds a section at the end, duh. It can only add to the end of the element. The delete button removes the last section of track. It can't delete anything but the last section. The save button saves a Newton file, not an element file. This is so you can come back and look at the file later or make changes. The open button is for opening Newton files. The restart button clears all sections but the first and sets everything else to default settings. This is for one for say you want to start a new Newton element for another part of the track then it'll clear everything. These are the initial settings. This is where you tell Newton what is happening at the very start of the element. Once you start making the element, do not touch these. You can change the X or Z positions if you run out of room though. You should not move the Y. The values are straightforward. How fast the train is going in meters per second, what up or down angle is it going, what bank, the normal or vertical G's, the lateral G's, and how high it is off the ground, Y position in meters. Hold your mouse over the heart line setting to see the train style's heart line. Friction is usually fine, although clicking the down button three times works better for wooden coasters. Don't bother touching the sample rate or orientation. This is where things get tricky. These sliders tell Newton how to shape the track over the course of a section. It is very important to note that when you set a roll, normal, or lateral slider to a new spot, you are not telling it to go to that exact setting. You are telling Newton to add or subtract that value from the value at the start of the section. The time slider is how long the section will last in seconds. There's nothing special about it. Okay, here's what is happening during this section. Over the course of two seconds, the roll will change by, not to, negative 70 degrees, and the vertical G's increase by, not to, two G's. There is no change to the lateral G's. An important thing to keep in mind is that large changes over small periods of time can and usually do result in very high G's during that section. Also, I suggest that you never put the vertical G's to greater than 5 or less than negative 0.7. Newton is not exact and quite often the element will pull more G's than you tell it to. You have been warned. To save an actual no limits element file that can be inserted into your track, use this save button. It will prompt for an address. My suggestion is to make a folder specifically for your ride within the elements folder. It is very useful to keep everything straight. I usually name them as part 1, part 2, etc. Down at the bottom are sets of parentheses. These correspond to speed, pitch, roll, vertical G's, and lateral G's. They show this, the start value and the end value.